from home county schoolboy to Islamic militants killed in Kenya. Just how did Thomas Evans embark on this deadly path? This evening, one of his closest former friends spoke to BBC London. It's scary, to be honest. It's scary how they can go off on that tangent, that direction, away from everything, which is what originally brought them to something. The friend asked us to protect his identity. He said the first time he met Thomas Evans was in 2008, when they helped keep young people in High Wycombe out of trouble. And what was he like? What sort of character? He was a bubbly character. He was very confident. He liked to get involved. He liked to help. He liked to do things. After a few months, Thomas Evans became interested in his friend's religion. We didn't really preach to him. He asked questions. I guess he liked the answers to the questions. And he found himself attracted to Islam, the side that we were talking to him about. What went wrong? He isolated himself and maybe went to the internet for information. And when he went into that information, then he ended up finding stuff that perhaps was a bit more hard line than what he was initially spoken about. And you saw him doing that on one occasion? We were chilling in his house and I found some stuff in his computer and I recognised the name and I said, hold on a sec, what are you doing listening to him? From that point, he sort of didn't really spend much time with me, tried to avoid me. Thomas Evans later left the UK and joined Islamic militants in Africa. On Sunday, he was killed attacking a military base in Kenya. I think he's misguided, but I don't doubt that he was sincere in thinking he was doing the right thing. And this is the danger. You have a lot of sincere, zealous youth who don't have the knowledge to back up their intentions. They're going off and they're doing things which aren't right in the name of something which is right. So if you see injustices in the world, you don't go out and throw yourself in it and become part of the injustice. You go out and try and figure out how you can help reduce that situation and stop it from becoming an injustice. It is a friend's insight into a young man born in Britain, radicalised in the tranquility of a Buckinghamshire village and who died fighting with militants hundreds of miles from home. Nick Beek, BBC London News, High Wycombe.